Security, Security, Security. More or less, John G. Munson will be inbound to Luth Piers in approximately 30 minutes and proceeding to the Halo 5 dock in Duluth. Duluth Area, British John G. Munson. Clearance of people, Captain. We're going to go ahead and start her up. Thanks, sir. Clearance of people, Captain. We're going to go ahead and start her up. Bulldog, Department of Fraser Shipyard. We had to security, security. Doug Bulldog, Department of Fraser Shipyard, heading over to the running dock. Any concern, traffic, stand by in 16 to 71. Good afternoon, visitors. Right now we have the John G. Munson arriving through the Duluth Ship Canal. The John G. Munson was built in 1952 by the Manitowoc Shipbuilding Company of Manitowoc, Wisconsin. She measures 768 feet in length, 72 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She is powered by a single 8,000 horsepower, 6-cylinder, 6M43 Mack diesel engine, which gives her a top speed of 14 knots or about 16 miles per hour. She is also equipped with bow and stern thruster, theater maneuverability, and port. The Munson has 22 hatches on her deck, which open into seven cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 48 by 17 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 25,600 tons. Above her deck, just uh, on the back side of the pilot house, is a 250 foot self mounting boom which allows her to load her cargo at a rate of 5,600 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. John G. Munson is owned by Duluth-based Great Lakes Fleet, which is a subsidiary of Canadian National Railway, and is operated by Key Lakes Incorporated, also in Duluth. The Munson is named in honor of Mr. John Gifford Munson, former president of the Bradley Transportation Division of former Vice President of U.S. Steel. The Munson was the largest cell phone motor built on the Great Lakes at the time of her launching. She was originally built to transport limestone for the Bradley Transportation Line, separate from U.S. Steel's main ore fleet. The Bradley fleet was merged with U.S. Steel in 1967. The Munson has been modified through the years to keep her modern and competitive. She was lengthened by 102 feet by Fraser Shipyards in 1976, and her 7,700 horsepower steam turbine engine was replaced with a modern diesel engine in 2016 in Surgeon Bay, Wisconsin. Great Lakes Fleet is a direct descendant of the historic and dominant Pittsburgh Steamship Company, which was founded in 1901 by U.S. Steel. It was the largest fleet of ships in the world when founded and remained the largest fleet on the lakes for most of its, its, its existence. The John G. Munson is on its way in today with a load of limestone, which they will be unloading at Hallett 5 Dock by the CNR docks over there. And then when they're done, they'll leave empty to load in two harbors. Once again, we have the John G. Munson running to the Duluth Ship Canal. She was built in 1952. <laughs> what you'll just heard there is known as the Captain Salute, which is a traditional greeting here at the bridge and canal. The ship initiates a greeting with one long blast followed by two short blasts, and the bridge responds with the same thing. Once again, we have the Dodgy Munson riding through the Duluth Ship Canal. She's built in 1952. Measures 768 feet in length, 72 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. Maximum carry capacity of 25,600 tons. Owned by Great Lakes Fleet and operated by Key Lakes Incorporated, both of Duluth. And she is currently on her way in today with a load of limestone for Hell of Five, and then they'll leave empty to load in two harbors. If you see any crew members on deck, make sure to give them a good wave and welcome them back to the Twin Ports. <laughs> 